She'll keep it herself. Strong contact. Again, Courtney Weber in the wing. Taking it inside to Valencia. Myers gets the ripple. Maya Brown up ahead one-on-one -on -one with Rivers and lays it in. A pretty impressive move for the freshman. The fierce freshmen of women's basketball are already leading their team to success this season. This group has come from far and wide for a chance to wear the garnet and gold. Guard Courtney Weber, whose relationship with Seminole basketball dates back to the eighth grade, moved to Tallahassee from New Orleans. Uh, I had a really good relationship with the coaches, uh, all of them, especially Coach White. Uh, he was my primary recruiter, but I always loved coming to camp. I came to a lot of uh, basketball camps in the summer where I really got to like know the coaching staff really good. After suffering an ACL injury her junior year of high school, Weber came back strong the next year, averaging 23 points per game. I had a lot of um, high expectations for my junior year. I wanted to win another state championship. I wanted to do all these big things, get all these accolades. So when I got her, you know, it was a little bit of downer. But I uh, worked really hard in rehab, came back my senior year, and I wanted to do everything that I missed my junior year. Her senior year performance attracted competitive college teams like Texas A&M, Texas, Baylor, and Mississippi State. But she knew FSU was the right choice. Committing to Florida State was a big relief. I was glad that I finally felt uh, felt like I picked the right college. You know, that was a big uh, lift off for my senior year. Just I really felt like this was the best uh, place for me to go. Like Weber, guard Amaya Brown felt at home with the coaching staff. Well, when I first came to FSU for my visit, um, I really liked the coaching staff. Like they made me feel like it was in my home already, and I really liked that because just because because I was so far away from home, they really made, made it seem like, like a family. Her former club coach in her hometown of Albuquerque, New Mexico, called her the best defensive guard in the country, but Brown feels like FSU will make her even better. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm getting better at just like communicating, just because I didn't, like back in high school, I didn't really communicate a lot in like basketball wise, so I feel like I'm getting better in that. I feel like I'll be a better player um, and I feel like they'll get me to the WNBA, maybe like overseas too. Making it to Final Four, that's our, that's our goal. While that may seem like a bit of a long shot, with recent ACC Rookie of the Week recipient Valencia Myers, it's definitely a goal worth shooting for. This is really exciting to know I can go from high school to college level and just keep increasing my play and my level of skill. FSU has already helped Myers improve her game. FSU has a lot to do with it, just keeping me encouraged and building my confidence and keep getting on me about the little, little things like footwork or constantly rebounding and swimming through and being strong, just all the little things that help me get better. And she's not even close to being satisfied with her achievements. Since I got freshman a week, I want freshman of the ACC for like the whole year. And then I want national championship. That's me and the team's goal. We just want to get better and get as far as we can in the tournament each year. Those successes would not be possible without first developing the strong mindset Myers needed to compete at the highest level. By strengthening her mental toughness, Myers is now able to face any adversity head on. My mindset changed and I'm able to be more positive and push through hard times or adversity. Now mental toughness is your body hurts, how you're going to keep moving and keep rebounding and doing the little things the right way. Something about Coach Sue Semrau, Seminole Pride, draws talented student athletes from all over the country and influences them to be the best. Coach Sue has been real with me since day one, and I feel like I can talk to her about anything. I feel like she's going to push me to, my high, to her highest expectations, and she's going to push me to be great. But that wasn't the only reason why FSU stood out from the 10 schools guard Morgan Jones could choose from. I came for a visit and I came for a football game as well, so I really liked the traditions they have and it felt like a family atmosphere as soon as I stepped on campus. Well, the coaches really made it feel like home away from home and my parents really en enjoyed the school too and I don't know, I just felt like it was just perfect. From Jonesboro, Georgia, she's lucky to enjoy support from her family at every game. They're only four hours away, so it's not too bad of a drive. And they're pretty close, all my family's close, so they can all see me. They've been supporting me since I was little, and they want to keep supporting me, so. She brings the heat for each game, making her family proud. I say my biggest strength is probably attacking the basket and um, getting rebounds and just running. Redshirt junior forward Kia Delepsi had a completely different freshman experience not getting as much playing time, but she's pumped for what these freshmen are already contributing. 
I wasn't really one of the options coming into my freshman year, whereas these um, four that are playing have a great opportunity to be really big for this team and bring really big things. And I think that's really exciting for them and very exciting to me. And I told them that, you know, we got freshmen and just because they're young or inexperienced doesn't mean that they can't contribute and help us win. Another talented freshman guard, Isabella Nicoletti, was also expected to contribute but we'll have to sit the season out due to a preseason ACL injury. I feel like this year it's being amazing for me to be on the sideline, just being able to learn and be like, you know, a coach for the players. With her triumphant seminal debut next season, here's what we can expect. I always, you know, since I was a little girl, my mom always told me that I was born to be a leader. So I think the leadership is what I have, what I can bring to the gym next year. These fierce five freshmen will no doubt lead this team to success this year and beyond. I'm Alexandra Blackwell for Seminole Sports Magazine.